like hey. it. Quentin, welcome. How's it going? Good. Good to see you. Good to see welcome you. Welcome, everyone. Uh, Paul here, Music Villa, Bozeman, Montana, and uh, we are doing another video. It's what we do here. Yeah. We try to grab a guitar that we haven't videoed yet, and we, we give it a run through and let you decide how you like it. So today we have a guild, which we haven't done in a while, but these have been... You know everything's hard to get these days. It's a little, yeah. it's a little yeah. tricky. So finally, we're starting to get these these uh, guilds in, and uh, this is a great kind of I'd call it a great price point and mm -hmm. a wonderful guitar for for the price for right. the price the, for, the uh, combination just, of just, features yeah. to the cost. And just listening to what you did right there mm -hmm. at the beginning, it was like, it's cool. It's yeah. really cool. There's something about it. It had that like, it just had. Something that I it's got it's haven't got quite wrapped what my I like as yet. far as the you know what's well, the tone that you would kind of expect from the you know big dread box big dread you know? so it's and got ma a little, and mahogany it's got a little boom right but it's still kind of relatively cl clear and yeah and this one's a little punchier it's crisp on the upper end too is what I felt playability is really nice and this um, is the D one forty D one forty D one forty so but it has that. Uh, I don't know what it, what I'm trying to say here. Well, it's like, guild, like I mean, not, guild it's is got distinct. this country it doesn't sound like rock, Martin, country it doesn't sound rock like a thing. Gibson. It yeah. doesn't certainly not like a Taylor. So I mean, I think yeah. it is in its cl in a class by itself. And yeah. a lot of folks think of Guild as the unsung hero of the the big uh, domestic guitar makers, yeah. right? Yeah. And you can see why because yeah. they make some really great instruments. And uh, well, they had know. a great big, nice, you know, '60s, mm -hmm. '70s kind of run, and then I think they've had some. Ups and down over the years, but uh, yeah, but I would say they're um, back. I don't know how much this guitar costs, and you know, I'll have to go on the website and check it out like everybody else watching the video will. Um, yeah, so well, let's, let me, but what I'll say yeah. is that it just it plays well, yeah, it's got enough depth yeah. that you feel like you're you know, you got the boom that you would yeah. want, yeah, but my understanding is that this is a price that's far more competitive than, say, what you would pay for these pr premium level instruments yeah. behind us here. Well, it's a solid solid yeah. mahogany, uh, solid spruce top, uh, mahogany back and sides. And um, what I'm, you know what I'm hearing is like, uh, it doesn't. It's not ringing out, but it. Like, so it's almost like a like a like a D series focused. It's, it's not almost gonna like be a, a. Feels like it's got a laminate back on it or something, but it's in a cool way. <laughs> I don't know. Does that make sense? Ka yeah. I think I understand what you mean. Yeah, it's uh, maybe the, the all the overtones and all that aren't aren't flying everywhere. It's, it's just, not. It is. It's more focused. It's it not sounds as ringy. almost like it has dead strings on it, but in a good way. Like it's yeah. a really cool. I don't know. I like it. No, I think this will be like like the 18, like the straight Ds. I always think of like D28s and D18s as being kind of focused. They're not as open right. and ringy. Right. And I'm getting the same sense here. And yeah. you know, obviously you be the judge based on your listening uh, experience and expectations. But to me, there's enough sustain, but it's it still has a clarity. Right. Uh, pl again, playability. It's got a gloss neck. Yeah. Which, for me, being a greasy person, I find that I stick a little bit more than mm -hmm. I do to the, like the satiny type finishes. Do you finishes. like bring baby powder every time you go to I a just gig? Or what? You know, I just kind of I do this a lot, yeah. and uh, you know, and I can I can get around. But if I'm sweaty or you know, yeah. then then I get it feels like I'm sticking more. But quite honestly, I'm not moving that fast. Where that minimal you force move a lot faster than a lot of people. Well, no, uh, so it's not that big a deal. But it's it's very comfortable. The 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 width is I don't know what the width one is. One three quarter. Yes, it feels pretty yeah. standard, and the depth feels also very standard, like a standard low yeah. low profile, low oval profile. So very comfortable. Cool. Well, good. I'm glad we got it in. Setup's really nice on this one too. It's, oh, good. It's not you know. Yeah. I feel like I can dig without buzz. But it's got plenty of volume. Cool. I like it. It's nice just to see the old guild, the guild headstock and all that. It's just a cool, it's another one of those kind of iconic guitars that is still kind of getting uh, rebranded again in the world. And yeah. so. Well, it's just good to see them out there. Again, yep. who doesn't love options? This one comes, I don't know if you put this in or that if it came from the factory like that, with the. Just like it. With the strap button. Yep. So, yeah, cool. I think this is a really, really solid acoustic guitar by nice. a name yeah. I know and love. So Cool. Well, that's the Westerly Series uh, by Guild, and that's the D140. Uh, thanks for being here. Yeah, you bet. Thanks for watching.